Hi friends, I am going to show you how to make this really cute chunky beanie. Uh, you're going to need two crochet hooks, a 9mm and a 7mm. It's kind of hard to see but this is a 7mm and a 9 Some scissors and a yarn needle which I don't have out because I'm not always prepared. And two skeins of worsted weight yarn yarn because we're making it chunky uh i'm gonna pause and get back to you in just a sec to begin we are going to be taking our two strings of yarn and making either a magic circle or a chain four and slip stitch i'm doing a chain four and slip stitch and joining so now i'm going to chain three one two three and i'm gonna work 12 double crochet in the center. Okay, so I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and I'm working on my 12th one right now. And I'm going to slip stitch into the third chain and joining. I'm going to start my ribbing and my increase row. So we're normally putting two stitches in the same center stitch, but we're not going to do that with this one. We're going to chain three and put our first, our uh, second, our first increase, which would be our second stitch front post. You just work around the previous double crochet and make a double crochet. So our next stitch is going to go right inside the actual stitch and then we're going to do our second increase of the row by front post. Making a double crochet in that front post. Now the next stitch is going to be inside the actual stitch and then the increase is going to be a front post. Continue that around and I'll come back when I've done it. So I'm back and I'm just going to finish working one stitch in the actual stitch or one double crochet in the stitch and now one front post to make our last increase of the row. So now I'm going to slip stitch, pull some yarn real quick, and chain three. One, two, now we're going to work, here's one double crochet, we're going to work one double crochet to make two double crochets and then our increase is going to always be on the post. And this is our increase of the row. So we're going to go one double crochet in one stitch and then in the actual stitch two and our third stitch which will be our increase is worked around the pull post. One, two, and post. That's our increase of the row. Every third stitch. I'm going to work this last one and then I'll meet you around. Two, and increase. Okay, I'll meet you back when I am almost completely finished. We are at our very last set of increases for the row, so we're going to work our one double crochet in this stitch, one double crochet in this stitch, and we're working our increase, which is a front post double crochet, two, and we're going to slip stitch to join into the third chain of the chain three. We are one last row of increase. So, one, two, three, chain three, work one double crochet in the next stitch, and in our post, we're going to work one double crochet, and then increase is going to be the post. This is our very last row of increase. One, double crochet, two double crochet, three double crochet and front post increase 
one double crochet, and two double crochet, three double crochet, and a front post. Okay, I'm going to come back when I'm done with this. I have one last set of increases, so one double crochet, two double crochets, three double crochet, and then our increase, which is our front post, double crochet. It's the last increase of the row. Here is what our brim or crown looks like brim. <laughs> Okay, so now it's simple. It's a repeat pattern. Three double crochets and a front post. Three and a front post. Three double crochets. And a front post. Getting there. Okay. And a front post. You continue this pattern around. And I'll meet you in just a sec. So I have my last four stitches. One, two, three, and front post, double crochet for four. And now I'm gonna slip stitch to my chain three. Um, I don't like the way that form, hold on. Okay, there we go, that's better. So this is what it looks like right now. Um, we're gonna chain three and do the same row again. Same, you know, repeat. Three double crochets and a front post double crochet. Three double crochets. And a front post double crochet. Continue this all the way around. I have my very last four stitches. Oops. One, two, three, four. It does look big. Don't fear, friends. It looks big. You're like, what? It's a little big. Formed. Shape weird. It does catch up um, and pull in. We're almost to our I think one more row, and then we decrease or uh, we'll decrease in size to the seven millimeter hip. Okay, we're gonna chain three and work two more double crochet for a total of three and one double crochet front post three double crochets one front post double crochet we're continuing the pattern all the way around and I'll see you when we get back Okay, so we are back with our last sequence. One, two, three, and a front post double crochet. And we are going to switch over to our seven millimeter crochet hook. And I am going to be chaining three and putting one double crochet into every, oops, I didn't slip stitch into the right one. There we go. One double crochet into every single stitch of the row, keeping the front post double crochet, okay? So we're going to keep that front post. We're just going to Work one double crochet into the stitch of every single row, keeping the front post double crochet. Um, oopsies. 
three, and then four. I will see you when I have finished and you have finished. I am on my very last set of double crochets. Now here we are, this is what it looks like right now. We are going to start a rib stitch. This one's not going to be ribbed, it's just going to be a regular double crochet. And then we're going to go to a front post double crochet. Our next one is going to be a back loop, back post double crochet. Our very next one is going to fall in line with our regular stitch, front post, back post. Come on now, there we go. Front post, back post. The front post is going to fall in line from our previous front posts. Back post. Continue this around until you have done front post, back post, double crochet on all of your stitches of the row. I didn't save as many stitches for us to go through. Front post, back post, and then our original, which is the front post, and then I'm going to slip stitch into the chain three. We're going to chain three more, and we're going to do that same row all over again. Front post, back post, just do front post, back post, all the way around um, the entire row to get a nice good rib stitch. It's a good chunky beanie, man. Okay, hold on. I'll see you in a minute. So now we are getting ready to finish our third row of front post, back post, up crochet. I guess it would be our second row, our third row of crochets with this L hook. And we are finishing our row up with a slip stitch. This is going to be the very last row and it is going to be the same exact pattern. We're just finishing off with a four rows of front post, back post, double crochet. When I am finished, I will come back and we will continue. Finishing up these last few stitches and then we are going to be finished with this beanie. The only thing we're going to have to do is weave in the ends or sew them in. That one was fail. Don't finish so fast, you're clumsy. Don't follow me. I just tie separately. Well, I feel secure with that. Come up to the top. I'll put my hand in the top so I can get a good grip on where I need to go. And I'm going to come and finish the circle by coming all the way over here with my needle and pull them straight down. I'm going to have to put my needle in here before I weave my yarn in. Uh, 
No, I technically should probably only have one come through. But I weave my yarns both, so I'm going to just grab one with this hook. Because it's small. Come on, little guy. Come back over with me. Now I'm going to tie a knot. in this and cut it off and just like that friends we have made a beautiful chunky beanie so quick um okay have fun creating bye friends